about the top, like the Fortune 500, if they had it their way, they'd, they'd never say it. But if they had it their way, they would eliminate the patent system. Mm. The patent system really is for us. It's for the little dudes coming up. If you didn't have a patent system and you came up with a witty idea or some widget or some, some a creation, right? You came up with lyrics to a song, a new melody, whatever. The only way you can really get into the market, and we know it's warfare, business is war. We, we know this at this point in time, right? The only way you can, I ain't gonna say one only way, but one of the ways you can kind of get in is that you can claim property rights to your creation. The big companies who are already killing the game, who got 60 some percent market share, if there was no past system, they've just scoured and say, appreciate that little man, I'll take that from you. Thank you. Holla and just go put it out and they just use their resources and market dominance to kill, to crush you. That's right. So what I'm gonna say is this, Tech, as us trying to come up as entrepreneurs, as visionaries, you gotta use the tools that you have. That's probably one of the, uh, one of the most lethal tools you have, uh, you know, uh, and, or, 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 or weapons within your arsenal is the, the IP system. Why are you not using the IP system when you cannot compete with Sony? You can't do it. Not as an independent songwriter, you can't do it. Mm. You can't compete with Facebook. If you're trying to come up with your little social media platform, and I don't mean to be condescending, but like, how, how else do you do it? It gives you a legal claim in court. Guess what? I came up with this idea. The U.S. Patent Office, now we're in a first to file system. I have to get on that later, but guess what? They reduced the fees for micro entity folks who make under two hundred some thousand dollars right? Or, or you got small entity, you got three classifications. They tax the big boards, but for us, the fees are lower. So, okay, you're able to memorialize your creations, and there's a means of protection there. Well, you can lock it up. You got to pay a lawyer, but okay. So if you do see when a big boys uh, copy you, you can go on the court, you have a legal claim. If there's no pass system or no intellectual property system, then guess what? <laughs> How are you going to fight them? Mining agent. So Georgia is one of the few states that actually still keep the traditional way of, of doing things. Exactly. And that's what makes it an attorney state. The crazy part is I get people that call me and say, hey, I called my state or I called NNA and I asked them, can I be a loan signing agent in Georgia? And they told me no. Absolutely mm -hmm. right. Because you can't. Right. Perfect. That's not what you should be calling to ask. That's not even a, a proper question. You're yeah. not a loan signing agent because you you're not doing anything to facilitate a loan. Yeah. So when I teach my students, I make sure they understand you're a notary. Right. And you're assisting in the loan signing process. So, yes, you can call yourself a notary signing agent, but don't mistake that for saying, hey, I'm a loan signing agent. So if you mm -hmm. if you've ever known any students or any students of mine, um, that are, you know, follow what I say, they know they're not a loan signing agent in an attorney state. You're a notary signing agent. So yeah, uh -huh. we kind of just married that. I just made it make sense for people who didn't understand. I love it. I love it. You you have a very unique superpower. Okay. <laughs> um, because th this is a this is definitely probably I, I, I couldn't tap into it. Tell the people about your superpower. What's my superpower? I don't know. I don't well, well it, it, your superpower being uh, working particularly with women, right? Uh, to complete their business and being a notary public in the notary industry. Yes, absolutely. So well, like, like you have the passion to work with women specifically. Like, like where, where, where did that come from? Pink. 
No, <laughs> that's just you said who? a great word. Pink. Oh. <laughs> so I kind of <laughs> fell into it. <laughs> like I pink is my favorite color, of course. So I had to find a way to marry that with the business. Because okay. I tell people in business, the your best, the, the color that you always go to is gonna be the color that you want your business to be. You mm. want to make sure you are always looking 